Hi everyone. Uh, so Tipco's uh, launching Silver, our, um, our cloud platform, and I just thought I'd spend a couple of minutes and uh, and talk you through just some of the aspects of it that um, uh, that might be of interest to uh, to a great number of people out there. So one of the one of the goals that we had with uh, with Silver was was really kind of to uh, to make it very very easy to deploy uh, solutions uh, onto the cloud. And some of the problems that uh, that we saw people having. Um, was that you know once you had the machines virtualized and you had the machines out there, you then had to get the software onto that, and then once you had the software onto that and configured, then you needed to to really spend the time uh, and effort to to work out how to get your your application into the uh, into the software onto the onto the platform. And so really, Silver is designed to to kind of really speed that entire process up. And you've kind of heard me talk a little bit about uh, the whole uh, months to minutes type of uh, type of arrangement. So. You know, to, to show you kind of how easy it is, uh, all I need to do is is really go up to my uh, to my console, which uh, has all of my deployments on here with the uh, the Silver platform. Uh, just kind of really turn around and say, okay, I'm going to add a new deployment. We'll just call it new deployment for uh, for the sake of, uh, of of brevity. Talk about how many machines I actually want. So in this particular case, just a small one with a couple of uh, couple of machines, and. I'm done, and basically at that point, what's happening behind the scenes is that um, that we have uh, some intelligent software that's running in the cloud, and it is is configuring the the Silver platform, and it's making it making uh, decisions on your behalf about how you really want that software to be deployed and managed. Uh, in, in some ways, it's uh, it's making trade-offs against uh, high availability and performance uh, versus the type of application you want. And realistically, when this is all uh, when this is all finished. Uh, and it usually takes between kind of two to, to five minutes to get a machine and deployment all the way up with all the software configured. I'm, I'm basically uh, I'm basically done. And so if I go to uh, to an environment, at that point, all I need to do is is connect into the administrator, which then gives me the ability to uh, to configure and to um, to upload the uh, upload the application. So you know here is the uh, the console that we have behind the scenes. And so this is you know literally taking just a couple of minutes to. Uh, to get the environment up and running. Now, when the uh, when the environment is is all up and running, um, I can then go up and I can compose my application. And, and again, very very simple from a, from a very top level point of view. Uh, if I'm an architect, um, you know, I'm, I'm basically sitting here on this screen here. Uh, I can create uh, and add in components of different types. So, for example, Ruby, Java, mediation, all those types of things onto this kind of architecture view. Uh, and if it was code, so for example, if it was Java code, um, once I've configured all the services and, and added them into my architecture view, I can then drill into the actual code itself and make any changes. Now, obviously, if I'm not really into code or I don't want to use any kind of the lower lang level languages, um, then I can also kind of look at, uh, let me kind of bring up another one here, I can do mediation as well. And this is much more graphical in, in nature. And so with, uh, with mediation, kind of a traditional type of ESB, I can map the uh, the different requests through to uh, through to different services and doing some lightweight mediation between these things. Once once I have my uh, solution kind of all prepped and ready, uh, then it's really just a case of packaging this all up into uh, into a digital archive and then pushing this up into the uh, up into the administrator uh, and hitting uh, hitting save and then deploy and you're basically done. And so you can really create a brand new solution uh, in in really literally minutes from uh, from start to finish with not having to worry about any of the underlying kind of infrastructure, not having to worry about high availability, fault tolerance, all of those things kind of get done for you as part of this, uh, as part of this infrastructure. And again, right, kind of when we looked at this, it was really to, to reduce all the things that people spend a lot of time on, shrink those down to, to minutes, allowing you to focus on building code and building the actual application itself uh, without having to do all that low-level infrastructure stuff, and so that's that's really uh, typical silver in a you know, kind of very uh, very short amount of time.